Dr. Mike DeBoer, blood flow restriction training expert here to talk to you about one of the most common questions. Does blood flow restriction training increase the incident of clots? Number one, let me tell you what all the peer review and science is showing because now we have many years of blood flow restriction and science, especially in Japan. Peer reviews are showing there has been no increased incidence of clots and pulmonary embolism or stroke from doing BFR. Next, what has to happen for you to have a stroke? There's three things called Verkaus triad. I'm going to talk to you about one of them. You need to have stasis of blood flow or slowing down. What do they tell people who are at risk for clot, especially after you have surgery? They keep them moving. Don't sit down for a long time. Don't go on a long plane right after surgery because they don't want blood flow to slow down. Now, watch what happens during BFR when done correctly. At rest, I have about five liters of blood moving every minute through my extremity. As soon as I start doing vigorous exercise, which is what they recommend for everybody who has vascular issues, get the blood flowing. When I'm doing vigorous exercise, that flow rate doubles, triples, or quadruples, okay? During BFR, I'm exercising. My flow rate is not going to go three or four times as high, but it's gonna be higher than at rest. Again, what does that mean? When I'm just sitting here versus doing BFR the correct way, I have more blood flowing during BFR than I do at rest. It's just not the same amount as if I was doing the exercise without the bands. That's how I can get the fatigue. And this is why you're not seeing people have increased incidence. So to answer your question, BFR when done correctly is not going to cause an increased risk of clotting and we have science and peer reviews to back this up. So trust that if you do BFR correctly, you can do it safely.